Okay, so I'm just going to go through a fairly quick video to show you how to use the uh, Casio FX9860G2, um, which is the graphical calculator or GDC. Um, I'm going to do it for standard data, so raw data like this, so just um, non-tabulated, and then frequency tables like this. Uh, they're slightly different, and it's just how you input them. So the first thing we want to do, um, obviously we can do this by hand. I'm just going to focus on how you find it using the calculator. Um, the questions themselves don't ask for the mean, but I'm going to find the mean, the standard deviation, and variance for both. So on this calculator, the first thing you want to do is to get into the main menu. So press the menu key and then go to number two, which is stats. That'll take you to like this table. In this table, you just want to put in each of your uh, piece of data. So three, four, six, and so on. I don't worry about any other list in here. Um, I'll get to these later. We'll use those a bit for the next one. So. We've put all our data into a list. What we want to do at the bottom here, um, because we're trying to work out the uh, standard deviation mean and variance, we want to do uh, F2, which is calc. And then on this, we want one var, so one variable. And that's effectively it. All of your information is now on here. So X bar is the mean. So my X bar is 5.14 to 3SF. My standard deviation, uh, this is the one that's just standard deviation um, sigma x. It's not the one that says sx. That's a sample population. So that's a, a little bit different. We want this sigma x, so 2.17 when rounded. Obviously, if you were doing this in a test, write out to several decimal places before actually rounding. And finally, uh, for our variance on here, we just want to square that. So I'd want to kind of write that down and square it. Interesting things you can get from here, though, are things like your um, summation of x squared, your summation of x. Um, you can get also your min, max, and your quartiles as well from this data. So there's a lot of uh, interesting kind of things you can pull from here. So I'm just going to come all the way back out, um, and I'll just square that number. So if I go back to here, I can, in theory, just do 2.1, and it was 6, 6. And I'll just, oh, too many, square that. So it's a little bit slow on my computer, unfortunately, like when I press buttons, it doesn't quite work as I want it to. So that's 4.69. So that's it for raw data. So very quickly on that. Um, frequency tables, a little bit um, harder. Um, it's just the setup phase. Uh, you can actually do the setup phase and it'll work for all uh, variables after this. So I'd advise just doing this and getting it set up. Once it's set up in your calculator, it should work for um, for future. I'll just save that setting. So firstly, to clear this table, you can even press the delete quite a few times. You can press this little arrow, so F6, and click Del A, so delete all, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and it'll just clear that down. In this one, I'm going to use two lists. I'm going to use list one and list two. List one is going to include my X variable. In this case, it's the time spent out of school. And list two will include my frequency. And I'll come into that in just a second. So 35, I'm just going to use my keyboard for this. But once we've done that, we go into our second list and we just want to put in the th uh, frequencies. The problem with this is my calculator doesn't know that this is my frequency list. So I need to tell it that. So when I go into F2 calc, I need to click on this set, so like setup. Remember list two is my frequency. So if I click on set, if you look at the the one var, so I've got one variable, which is my X, and that variable is in list one. I know that because that's where I put it, but my frequency, it's saying is always one. So it's basically just counting that once and then moving on, counting that once, moving on. Uh, the second variable, uh, my frequency in this case, is not actually a variable. Um, it's my frequency. So I need to tell my calculator that my frequency is actually in list two. So I click on this list button, so F2, and I put in the number that I want in there, which is list two. That's now telling my calculator that my X variable is in list one and its frequency, corresponding frequency in list two. If I then go back and list one, that's the, going to be the X, list two is going to be the frequency. So now when I go on this one var, it should tell me the correct um, correct numbers here. So my X bar, just like before, so X bar is 37.132. 
and my standard deviation in this case is 0.861. Um, again, I'd write that out uh, a bit in more detail uh, for now. I'm just going to oh, go all over the place, apparently. Uh, I'm just going to square that up. So 0.6861. Oh, all squared. And that's not point seven four one. So that'd be the variance in this case. So variance is not point seven four one. Um again just three SF. So you're just going through. Um now what will happen if you go back and if you did the first one again, just make sure both lists are clear. So if I clear that one and I clear this list as well. Now, when I go to put in uh, the top one, so three, four, six, two, eight, eight, five, and I then go on to that F2 calc one. If I click one var, it's saying dimension error. Now, this is an issue, um, and it's the problem here is it's simply just that the setup's wrong. So you just have to go back into this setup because it's thinking list two, it's expecting a frequency in there. Now, I could just go in there and put one, 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 one. That's going to be quite annoying, but it will work. There it is. It's giving me all the right statistics. And that's because the calculator is waiting for the variable of the, not variable, the frequency to be put in there. So let's just delete those. The way to actually fix that is to, again, to go into setup and to change the frequency to always be one. So F1, it's just saying the frequency is always one rather than you having to input that. And that's now set back up for the single variable. Um, so it's a quick change between, but you're needing to know that in the uh, actual exam. So have a kind of watch through this. Keep in mind, if you've got a grouped frequency table, you're going to find the midpoint first. And the midpoint is going to be entered on here as your X. So then you're going to be doing the sum of F of X and so forth. So it's a little bit, um, a little bit different because um, you need that midpoint value first. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same.